despite the day to day running of the college farm largely unaffected due to COVID 19, the same can't be said for the students and lecturers of Gurching College who have been forced to work and study from home for the past number of weeks. I spoke with Gurching College Principal John Perry to find out how the students have adjusted and how preparations are going for their exams. It is a strange time for everybody and in reality if you choose to come to Gertine and to study agriculture online learning isn't necessarily your natural habitat so both our teachers and our students have found that a big change in the process but I have to say both groups teachers and students have really embraced it working really hard uh, some students taking to a duck to water absolutely loving the process of working online other students requiring a bit of extra help and some phone calls and some guidance, but we're doing our best to make sure that everybody has a fair chance to pass at the end of the process. So I hope there's light at the end of the tunnel. I think the news that we're receiving from government and HSE suggests that the, the community spirit, which has been evident in Ireland and, and the work that we've all done has made a difference. And the anticipation at the moment is that we will return to some sort of normality in the autumn. What that normality looks like is difficult to judge just at the moment, but I think what we're also very clear is it won't be an exact replica of what used to happen, partly because our students have really enjoyed some of the online learning, so we'll do a little bit more of that, but partly because realistically, our lecture theatre that seats 90 people probably is not going to be an appropriate environment to put 90 people in immediately in September. I think there'll be some regulations that limit the number of people we can, we can teach in there. We've got no intention of reducing the number of students we take. We're actually, uh, in terms of application numbers, we're very comfortable. We've got the student numbers where we expect it to be. There's one or two places left uh, and we're keen to fill those up. And ultimately, if we recruit the same number of students we had last year, what the plan will be is simply to deliver that in a slightly different way. So we've always delivered our practicals in small class sizes and they've always been outside. So I think the risks there are relatively small and we'll make some adjustments but continue with that. We'll need to think very seriously about how we deliver some of our theory based and that's going to be smaller groups, it's going to be tutorials rather than lectures and it's going to be online delivery. So lots of people are talking about blended delivery and, and that is going to be the, the, the way forward for us. So, so obviously it's, it's different because we would normally be holding open days and we've been inviting parents, families and, and, and youngsters to come and have a look at the facilities here at Gertine, to meet the staff, to talk to current students and just to get out, have a feel about what it's like to study here. We can't do that at the moment, even though we're anticipating being able to welcome students back in the autumn. So on the 9th of June, we've got a planned virtual open event. And the idea behind that is that we've got a number of staff who will be uh, positioned around and about the campus and they'll be available to take questions and answers. And then we've got a few ex-students who have done some pieces on their iPhones and their, their, their mobile devices at home, really just talking about how they found being a student at Gertine and trying to give a feel for what it might be like to study here in September 2020. When COVID first struck, our number one priority was the welfare of our animals and our number two priority was our students and in terms of that process. So the dedicated team of farm staff have actually continued to work on site all the way through the COVID process They've worked differently. They haven't shared the Jeep. They haven't had two people in the tractor cab even when we've got passenger seats. We've done all of those correct things, but it is important to state that our calves, our lambs, they're being looked after and they're doing absolutely fantastic. The weather has been a real bonus for the farm. Although normal day-to-day -day activity at Gertrude College has been disrupted due to COVID-19, students and lecturers are still preparing and are in the middle of exams here and the hope is come September that normal classwork and, and practical examinations will be able to resume in some capacity at Gertrude College, albeit under social distancing guidelines.